Hello everybody, welcome back to the episode of the new safe hour. We're jumping in again and we are going to try and do a greedier mode as someone we have not done greedier mode as yet. Who have we not done? Apollyon hasn't done greedier mode at all. Bethan. Did I not just do Bethany greedier mode or did I die on that run? I must have died on that run. Who we got tainted wise that we could do? Um, tainted Eden, Lazarus, Azazel, Eve, Blue Baby. But quite a few. Tainted Isaac as well. Let's do uh, let's do Tainted Lazarus um, and see what we can get going on. Because I think this, that's a regular run, you idiot. Good old greedier as Azazel. Try that out. Cool. Yeah, I think this should, should be pretty decent. Ooh, one look up spawns four random pennies. Nice. Unfortunately, not the best of pennies. We'd get a bomb out of it though. Bomb's not bad here. Bombs, not bad. We also got five coins now, so we can do this. Um, I guess I'll blow you up and hope for the best. Beautiful stuff. And we got our key already, so we can come straight in here and... Unfortunately, not get that. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting. Um, placebo pill could be interesting. I think I'm going to take placebo pill under the chances of, uh, oh, good old D100. Under the chances of getting a pill that could work for us quite well. I know the chances aren't super high, but let's give it a go. Pretend it's, uh, pretend it's useful to us and hope for the best. Okay, be careful with these guys. I've been taking damage, stupid stuff already. Don't get hit by that guy. He's too far away to, to pester me anymore. We just need a damage up to make sure we can use the laser a little more effectively, because at the minute, the only way we're getting good damage with it is with the Brimstone's Curse, which is always a little bit of a faff to use. On certain enemies, it's easy, but enemies like this, it's not, not as easy. There we go. Lovely stuff. I'll probably try and re-roll to get uh, a pill purchase. I don't know what pill I'd be looking for, to be honest. Like, an I'm Drowsy would be very good. Just a permanent I'm Drowsy. Thing is, we're probably going to have to buy a good few pills before we get a pill that we want. So, it's still a little tricky. Right, so, we've got enough coins to buy an item. So, do we just buy an item or do we try re-rolling for pills? I think we try and re-roll for pills, to be honest. No pills yet. Still no pills. Um, spawn three disc consumables. Disc grant, uh, spawn a disc when entering a boss room. That doesn't do anything for us. Damage, though, is good. We will probably take the, uh, the damage here. Good stuff. Got some Brimstone's Curse on you. Good stuff. I don't know how long the Brimstone's Curse lasts. It's a good while, right? Could be enough to get this guy killed. Yeah, it was good. Oh, well, just about. Not quite, but just about. Right. Grab that. Hey, it's a good amount of damage, that. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. And we are going to have to go Angel Deal here because we just can't afford to do anything else. For God's sake, man, I'm just standing next to enemies like a goofball. Right. Away we go. Two bombs is not bad. I was hoping for a key, but still. Okay. Down we go. Do love a bit of greedy mode every now and again, but we are getting close to being done with greedy mode, pretty much. We are close. What the hell is that? Bow and arrow. Not much in the quiver. Oh, we got Everlasting Pill again. Do we really want to take Everlasting Pill again? It was very chaotic last time. Very chaotic indeed. Okay, good stuff all around there. Got good damage now. Better fire rate. Got this orbital familiar that I don't believe really does anything to help. Crab, can you not be you? 
thank you. Oh god, I got really itchy nerves, I apologize. <laughs> Brimstone's Care is doing some good work on you. And taken the hell care of. As for the question of the day to day, uh, what do you think about the uh, the whole scandal stuff going on at the minute with uh, gaming leaks? What's your what's your opinion on that? Have you seen? So uh, there was a big Insomniac leak recently, like the Wolverine game got heavily leaked, and some data about like the Spider-Man games and stuff about their sales and stuff like that. But also, obviously, like quite a while ago now, probably like six seven months ago, there was some GTA Six leaks, um, and apparently the guy that leaked them has been given life in prison. Um, because he's, uh, he's shown heavy interest into wanting to hack as soon as he gets out of prison. They've basically said he's a danger to the public, and until, until they assess him to not be a danger to the public, they're not letting him out of prison. So he's essentially just got life in prison. Um, which is kind of crazy for just hacking a company. I realize, like, he caused a lot of damage. Still, like, people that, like, rape kids don't get life in prison sometimes. <laughs> it's kind of insane. Uh, take like that. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, there's, there's there's people that have done more heinous crimes that have got worse, like less lesser sentences. So it's kind of crazy. But it's like you fuck with a company, companies can do what they like. <laughs> companies can end you. I should probably try and buy some soul hearts at some point here because we are getting a little bit weak. on the health department. Yeah, let's, let's buy let's buy two soul hearts here just to make sure we're safe. Yeah, you shouldn't be too hard with a bit of Brimstone's curse on you. Good. And same again for you, good sir. Not too bad at all, these bosses, and we should get our angel deal here, which is going to be the best thing ever. It's unfortunately eh, very meh. A quality 3 item that I would not even remotely regard as quality 3, I'd probably call it quality 1, but there it is. Okay, next floor. Uh, this is actually probably worthwhile to bomb because we could get a key out of this. There you go. Very worthwhile indeed. Very worthwhile indeed. Right, let's crack this open. Ooh, yes, I do love not. And then eye drops. Don't think does anything for us. I don't think tier size affects our brimstone beam at all. Doesn't make it any wider. That's very good. We, we need to try and get that. Bit of fortune. Basically, it just means that all the champion enemies are actually going to start dropping stuff for us, which is, of course, really good. What was at the end of the room here? I accidentally opened that. I did not mean to do that. I mean, I guess it's something, but not not what my intention was at all. We haven't seen a pill yet either, have we? I don't think. Oh, that's kind of funny having the the pushback plus not. It's a pretty interesting combo. That's the other guy. There he is. Okay, not too bad. Oh god, some of the champions. That's why I need this fittest thing, so I can actually get rewards for killing champions. And not just nothing. Yeah. Step back, fellas. The champions are too much, man. Too much champions going on. Oh my god, there's stuff everywhere here. This is crazy. At least we got the knot to like, whip things around. Ooh, Baleful Heart, okay. That wasn't too bad, although I almost lost it instantly by getting hit there. Okay, can can you get out of here, please, my guy? I've been trying to kill you for a while now, and you don't seem remotely interested in dying. It's kind of sad. Holy shit, that's a big boy. I'll try and keep my Gerties for as long as I can here, but who knows if that's going to work out. Okay. Yeah. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give that. Thank you. Good old Mama Mega. Yeah, still not seen a pill for sale, which I, I thought was fairly common, but 
Apparently not. Okay, try and keep my Baleful Heart alive, please. It's not the biggest get for us, but it's something. Okay, at least I'm keeping the Brimstones cast. And dude, he got pushed by the goddamn Gursty right into me. It's not what I intended at all. I need Soul Hearts again, game. I am on the verge here. I very much do not like this boss because of shit like that. This boss is just such nonsense crap. Like, oh yeah, we're just going to add a boss that literally covers the entire room in fire. Yeah, oh, by the way, he's like almost entirely undodgeable. Fun. Also, what the fuck is this? You just gotta love that. Mwah. Peak, peak boss design. It's, it's impeccable. It really is. They were like, let's make a boss that just ruins everything. <laughs> I really don't like shitting on the bosses because <laughs> the Fiend Folia developers have done an absolutely marvelous job with them in terms of like design and stuff, but that that one in particular really irks me. It just it just is so off base compared to like all the other bosses in Isaac. It doesn't feel like any of them and it's it's really, like, sort of overdone. Oh shit, hello. I wasn't expecting you to spawn a bunch of poops, my guys. Also, I'm excited. Not really helping. Oh, what the hell did you do that for, you dick? I mean, at least I made this go quicker, I guess. It's the only reason I've... Oh, what the f Fuck! You went a Mac 10. Holy shit! Chill out, my lad. Okay, I've been I've been here a lot already. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Was was horrendous here. Just let me fucking cash you, you sh. Okay, I'm almost dead already. So this has gone splendidly. This has gone absolutely splendidly. Um, I'm going to have to buy one of these, unfortunately. Why did I buy the one that wasn't on sale? Chasm. It's kind of good, actually. I don't... Mm, wait, is it? I don't think it's actually useful at all for us. Yeah, why did I not buy the key that was on sale? Who knows? The Lord sure does work in mysterious ways. Yeah, I don't even know if this chasm will work for us. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to go Devil Deal because I want an upgrade straight away. I can't be asked waiting. Honestly, both of these are very worthwhile, so I'm going to take both of them. I don't even know, I don't know how Chasm's working because it replaces tears. We don't have tears, so... We'll see. Also, I should buy a 3 cent key while we're on this floor just so we've got... A little bit of savings from that. Oh, there's no three cent key here. My bad. <laughs> okay. Down we go. Couldn't have put the fool's gold rock somewhere where I could actually blow it up, could you? Couldn't have done that solid for me, could you, game? Right. Is there a... Oh, Spirit of Anger duplicated is an interesting one. Get down with that, I guess. And what we got here? Good old blue cap, I like it. Okay. My locusts will do a good job. I'm really liking having the ghosts here because they're just going to be there constantly. Just going to be ghosties everywhere all the time. Oh, shot speed up. Yay, that'll help. Don't think shot speed does anything for us whatsoever. 
There is a mod that makes it so that shot speed increases tick rate or decreases tick rate for brimstone beams, which is kind of an interesting idea. But it just means that having really low shot speed makes uh, makes for a really bad time, so it could be a bit of a detriment more than anything. Okay. And then... Well, to be fair, we could do this. Yeah, just get a little bit more money. Double Spirit of Anger. Why not? Good old plus one damage. Let's uh, buy a key as well here. Just gaining damage for all sorts of shit now. So I guess I will poof that and just see. Also, we've got two red hearts in there, so let me just go and do this. Why not? Okay. It's boss time. We've also got a fool card here. I don't really see the merit in the fool card for us very, very much, though. Okay. We're actually doing some good damage here. Do you see the way I bonked that guy away from me then? That was beautiful. And mega boss time, which I really hate against this guy. He's an absolute problem. Luckily, he's taken quite a lot of damage. He just spawns some enemies on death. Oh, that's a lot of ghosties. Money equals power is kind of interesting, but I don't plan on keeping my money so much, so I'm probably not going to take that. I think we'll just leave that as is, and we'll go down to the next floor. Okay. We've got a little bit of a better run coming together here. I think Spirit of Anger is probably our best thing we've got going on for us right now. Spawn on top of a pit. Weird. There you go, give me three coins in total. Beautiful. Yeah, we don't know what this does. Apparently we use an arrow. Oh, we just fire, we just like fire arrows every now and again. We also got this again. Cool. Okay. But do I, to get my arrows back, do I have to go and collect them? Yes, I do. It fires like multiple arrows as well. It seems pretty good, to be fair. And I get like I get them back automatically each next room. Let's try and not take too much damage here, because we are not we're not doing great for health at the moment. We have been giving it away. Oh shit! I did not see that guy there at all. The spoilers. And the skulls. Oh god, there's so many spiders. What the hell? Give me more ghosties. Oh god. This has turned into a little bit of chaos. This has. Greed mode always does. Greed mode is always super chaotic. But I'm liking seeing some of these new items here, like the arrows and stuff. It's just a shame they don't have EID descriptions yet, but I'm hoping they will soon enough. Shop-wise, what we've got going on here, probably just take the fire rate increase. Not a huge fire rate increase, but it's helpful. Nice. Better charge rates is always good. Okay. I've got you nice and cursed up. Oh god. Your children. Can I buy a red heart real quick just to make sure I don't die? Thank you. And boss time. Okay, this actually does brimstone curse all the lesser forms as well, so this is just fine. Okay, that was... With all the ghosties, this is actually pretty goddamn easy. And then devil deal. You have an empty vessel for me, as well as prank cookie. Why not take both? Why not take both? It's a very big risk, but... I think it's a fun risk. And then we're all good on this floor. Cool, cool. We're kind of speeding through now at this point. We have flight from Empty Vessel now as well. I kind of forgot about that. Helpful in a few ways. Death card is going to be pretty good if we stack up quite a lot of enemies. I think that might be quite a bit spicy. Freezer Baby's not bad. I like Freezer Baby. And then, oh, more Fire Rate. Okay. Fire Rate has entered the point of actually being pretty good now. 
car battery, unfortunately, doesn't do much for us. Let's just get to re-rolling. But I got an arm's pretty good. We've had that before and worked with it. Damage up. Lovely. Okay. Let's continue on. But yeah, today's the day that I'm actually going home for Christmas. So, like I said, a bit backlogged for you guys. Today's the day we're actually going home. Oh my god, such bad hits. Um, I'm quite ready. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen some of the family members I'll be seeing. And it's just nice to, like, have a proper home-cooked meal and stuff. Oh my god, got a golden penny there. We are very near to death, though, right now. Which I'm not as enthused about. Kind of didn't think I'd be quite so easily uh, tempted to the side of death. What are you doing, big boy? I need to chill out. My god. Some really rough enemies right now. There we go. We're dead again, man. Oh, man. This has been rough. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it there. That's a very short episode, I've realized. But I think I'm going to leave it there. Because, goddamn, it's just tough, man. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I don't think I have the Isaac brain right now. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. And yeah, I gotta say, let me know what's going on on your Christmas and all that sort of good stuff. And also your New Year's and anything around that, I'd be interested to know. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.